in this tutorial let's check out how to preserve the scroll position of a list view okay so this is the first page and this is my second page where the list of items are been shown and the user scroll down to some position let's say 30 and he go back to the previous page and revisits the uh, list of items page again and you can see the list is getting rebuilt or refreshed from the beginning of the item okay but i want to preserve the same position where he has left for example 30 so to preserve the scroll position we can make use of a property called as uh, page storage key so let me show you how to do that so before that let me show you the code that i have written so here i have two pages one is main.datpage and one more is list of items so in main.datpage i have a navigation bar by which sorry the navigation route by which i can travel to second page so on the second page i have a list of items which has been created by making use of list view builder where i am just generating hundreds of data and just showing a text as you can see over here okay so to now to preserve the scrolled position all you need to do is you just need to uh, make use of a key or in this uh, list view builder and here uh, page storage key and you just need to give a key to this property okay so something like this so you can give it anything so i will just view it as uh, page one something like this okay and after that uh, over here uh, you just need to wrap this uh, list view item with a widget called as page storage and here we need to pass a property that is mandatory that is bucket so we need to create a bucket storage over here so you just need to declare it globally so that this bucket can be useful anywhere in the pro in the software or the application so here you can just declare it so here i will just create a page bucket so you can just name it anything and initialize it with a instance called as a bucket class page storage bucket okay and just use this bucket in this uh, bucket property okay so now if i hot refresh so let me check if it is working so i'm just scrolling down to position 59 you can see this and going back to the previous page and returning again so you can see my scrolled position is been preserved okay so 83 so i'm going back and you can see it has been still over there okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching will do subscribe protocol respond thank you